What's up guys, John here from Titan, and I want to answer some frequently asked questions that I get a lot. The first one, so John, what protein powders do I need to start with to get back in the gym or get back to activity, get back on track? Well, the answer is you don't need protein powder to get back on track or get any activity in the gym or start. All you need to do is get that motivation and really just get yourself in the car, drive yourself down there and get the courage and the motivation to walk in that gym and really just start somewhere, anywhere. You know, starting somewhere is better than nothing. Doing some activity is better than nothing. So protein powders, do they have any value? Yes, protein powders do have value, okay? Now, protein you can get from a lot of different sources like beef or poultry or fish. These are the best sources probably to get them from. And my favorite, obviously, is steak. So that has the best amino profile, um, gets from the most nutrients. So I really, really like steak. But those three are the big main sources of protein. And you can get these pretty much anywhere you go. I mean, you can get grilled chicken pretty much everywhere. You can stop and get steak places and fish the exact same way. Now, protein powders. What value do they have and what role should they play in your diet? Now, protein powders are good if you want to not eat a meal in the morning for breakfast and you're getting a protein shake in. Um, if you haven't ate a meal in a long time and you don't have any good food sources by you, a protein shake's better than nothing. You don't want your body to go into a catabolic effect and start eating away the muscle you already have, right, by using that protein. Another thing is after your workout, it, it's good to get a protein shake in. You know, if you get it in, they say get in within the first 30 minutes, hour of your workout, it's really good because your, your body is craving needing these different nutrients and it absorbs it pretty well. Another good one is possibly pre-workout. Now, I wouldn't drink a whole big protein shake before you go and train. Might make you lethargic, might make you feel full and bloated, and that's not desirable when you're training. So these are just some of the different ways that I would incorporate a protein shake in my daily routine or after exercising. I hope this tip has helped you guys. Uh, if you guys want more tips and tricks like this, Please just DM us your questions and we'd be happy to answer them live for you guys on these videos. So guys, stay tuned, stay healthy, and stay tight and strong. Hello, my name is John Sikoris. That's my beautiful wife, Sharice Sikoris, and we're the owners of Titan Medical Center. Today we want to talk about a great mother of antioxidants, glutathione. Glutathione's awesome for everybody because it helps with antioxidants in the system. That's the oxidation in your system it helps with. It also helps with getting rid of free radicals, boosting the immune system. It's good for the skin, for the brain and it actually does a great liver detoxification as well. Um, we've used it on a lot of our patients. Our doctors are, are very, very big advocates of glutathione. It's a natural way. It's already produced in the body. So, uh, you know, we want to share this information with you. If you're looking for a great therapy like that, then glutathione is definitely where to go. It also helps with inflammation throughout the body. So, you know, if you do have any you know, previous injuries or say you have an autoimmune deficiency, Lyme's disease, Crohn's disease, all these things that they tell you there's nothing that they can do but give you a bunch of prescription medication. Mm -hmm. It's actually an all-natural way to, you know, kind of help your day-to-day -day and give you a little bit of energy boosting and hopefully help with some of that, you know, some of that chronic pain that you, you know, feel on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, another great thing is, is day-to-day, -day, if you have children and they're going to school like we do, right, they actually bring home those little cooties and you get sick. <laughs> Um, and it, it, it puts you down, it puts you back a couple of days. So glutathione actually boosts the immune system to kind of get past that. You'll actually feel better or, or get better faster. Um, you know, we are big advocates of it as well. Um, glutathione can help with a lot of different things. If you're traveling or constantly on an airplane where there's a bunch of germs everywhere, mm -hmm. that's definitely a good reason to take glutathione every day too. You know, obviously you're traveling, everybody gets sick when they travel, they're touching everything, you know, planes, airports, everywhere you go in an airport is absolutely, you know, full of germs. So, you know, if you're traveling, definitely a good one. You know, if you're a CEO, you're an athlete, 
you know, um, whatever you do and you're getting on a plane, you're going somewhere and it's going to take a wear and tear on your body and you know you're going to be sitting next to somebody that's got cooties, make sure you take some glutathione. personally from me on my cell phone or on my Instagram or Facebook. Um, but thank you guys so much for coming. I really appreciate it. We love you guys very much and it means a lot to us for all of you guys to be here and make it special for him, especially with everything going on right now. You know, it means a lot for you guys to come out here and spend this time with us. So thank you guys for all coming out and joining, joining me and everybody else here for my 40th I really appreciate it. Um, I appreciate everybody's time coming out here. And like I said in there, like uh, you guys all mean something to us if you guys are here. It's really special for you guys to spend your time with us. Um, I wouldn't ask for anything else. I appreciate it. I love you guys all too. So, uh, let's celebrate tonight. Let's have some drinks. Let's have a lot of fun together. Hi, we're going to do a special. Uh, this is Anya here. Uh oh. She's got a special talent she'd like to share. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy What's up guys, this is Big Drew, I'm here at Eddie B's to celebrate Yay! John's birthday, hey! he turns 40 today, it's been a great time here at Eddie B's, having a great time with my Titan family, Titan family everywhere, John a special shout out for all that you do, for not only me but for the rest of the Titan family, you've been more than a friend this you past good, couple Maria. years, I'm very happy here with Titan, I'm not going anywhere, you keep 100 with me, I keep 100 with you, happy birthday John, I love you, you are my brother. Hey John, happy birthday! It's your birthday, it's your birthday. Welcome to the 40 Club. The best is yet to come. Hey John, I just want to wish you a happy birthday. 40s and you're 30. Honestly man, you've been nothing but a stand up guy. It's been an honor and a privilege to be a part of Titan Medical Center. You treated me like family. I, I truly think the world of you. I know that you have my back and 40 is the beginning for you. You and Charisse are a power couple and I'm just blessed and highly favored to be a part of your life. Happy birthday, brother. I love you. John, listen, man. You turn your vision into a reality. Your energy that you pull, that you bring into a room, not necessarily bring into a room, but bring around people, period, shows that your true love for everyone. And that's why we are here for you tonight, man. Listen, thank you for everything that you've done. Thank you for everything that you're going to continue to do. Happy 40th birthday, brother. Love you from the bottom of my heart. Take care. Happy birthday to you. 
you, John. Love you, brother. Bottom of my heart, in my core. I love you, Sharice, Peter, and your family. Thank you for being you and all that you do for so many people, bro. It means the world to me and so many others. Love you. Sniff, sniff. Uh-oh. So all of you that don't know who Jason Scullin is, I know all of you do. Okay? Oh, the hell is that? He makes all the shit on my wall, okay? <laughs> everything from Jay-Z to me and John, everything on the wall is Jason. So I did ask him to make me a special something and he put his special spin on it. So, you know, let's see what we got here. Coming through, everybody! He's coming through! What's up, guys? John here. Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every Sunday, we're coming at you guys with new tips, tricks, and things that are going to help you guys in your relationship now or maybe that future relationship you're going to have. So we like to come up with a couple different topics every week that will definitely benefit you guys in a lot of different ways when it comes to your relationship and personal growth. Mm -hmm. So this week... You know, we were thinking about, you know, different <laughs> topics, what we're going to do, kind of going back one. and forth, you know, and we're like, <laughs> you know, I started thinking, I'm like, you know, you don't want to set boundaries, right? Boundaries for work and work hours and all this different stuff, especially with the way COVID is and a lot of people working from home mm -hmm. um, and they're all together, but they're not really together. And, mm -hmm. you know, this is something that is talked about and you guys should definitely do. And I think that we should do, but we don't fit the bill on this this aspect right it's yeah just, so john was saying he was like okay so you want to bring up a topic right and but we because he brought it up i'm like that's a great topic i mean everybody should do that absolutely but it's kind of like us telling you guys because i listen i can't lie right I, i'm a very straightforward person no hypocrites yes so we don't do this but do i think a successful relationship should probably do this yeah. i certainly do yeah I mean, you know, it, it, it's a it's a little bit different in our aspect and, and what we do um, to the normal couple that's usually out there. Usually, you know, they're working their job and they're into that job or whatever it is, and they're usually not working together. Mm -hmm. All right, um, so they have very different workspaces or different problems going on there, and it might flow into the night or later on and people might be thinking about it and you know they just don't know or they're stressed about crack it crack open their laptops you, you know, know they're, they're stressed about the the project they're on or, or doing whatever job they need to get done uh, so their boss doesn't ride them or, or get on them for that or fire them <laughs> so you know with us it's like listen we work together so we do the exact same thing so when we talk about things after hours and there is no shutting down for us you know that's a, another thing of being a business owner there's no 
there's no clocking clock in, out. Clock out. There's no, there's no clock in, clock no out. No time card like, for us. There's no time card as far as that goes. So, yeah. you know, even for us, like we have to set those times. Like you know, we're we're not going to get into anything work wise or try not to talk about it. You know, as easy as it sounds, it's hard. It's hard. Yeah, it, it really is. It's you, hard. You know, you think about something that you just, don't want to forget that pops up, right? You're like, oh man, like I got to say this now or whatever because. I might forget it, or I might just pass <laughs> over, and it might have been something really good or something important. So, um, or something that's you know that's that's like on high alert that we need to take care of right away. Right. So that that's just a little difference with us. But you know, even with us, you got to shut it down sometimes. Some have that, point. that you know, so you get back to normalcy. Right. And this is another thing where COVID has disrupted normalcy in people's lives. Things they used to do on a, a normal basis, normal mm-hmm. habits out there. You know, enjoying themselves, going on romantic dates in all different aspects, whether it be the movie theater, which is... Uh, that's I, our favorite place. Uh, that's our favorite place, but it hasn't came back yet all the I way. Know. Like, you know, like, there's not being movies released every weekend. There's a couple new ones out there that I definitely want to go see. Yeah, let's go. You know, like, one or two, like, I think that... <laughs> let's go this weekend. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's go right now. So, you know, so you guys should get back to normalcy, you know, set those times for, for those periods, you know, uh, where you have romantic time or normalcy time per se where you guys just are enjoying each other yeah because i mean listen it's so easy because everything's on your phone now right right i mean you don't even need a laptop you can literally just have my entire business is on my phone right yeah. i got all the emails set up all the text messages every single app i need to be able to just operate so just so easy to just grab the phone and you're in bed right say you guys are laying next to each other yeah. like oh let me just answer this one email real quick yeah. oh let me just do this one response real quick oh let me do a couple of just text messages next thing you look at the time and you know you look over and it's like <sighs> done sleeping no 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 intimate time nope. no no hanging out watching it like a, a, some tv you nope. know just laughing about something <laughs> sharing a moment you know none of that because nope. there's not now they're sleeping nope. because you were too busy on your phone so i mean this is important to be able to differentiate the time frames and it's not just at night my big one a big one and and you know john has worked on this for many many years is having that phone or having anything during like the time we eat yep. like that is a huge thing to me i don't know if it's just because i grew up that way you know during that time frame that was just an untouchable time frame you couldn't do anything else in that time frame but just be with one another and talk to each other while you you know basically break bread you know so you know it's important that you're not like on your phone and now we got you know me and peter we're talking about our day and he's missing it you know, but he's come a long way in this because you used to do it all the time. Used to work. What are you talking about? <laughs> and I'm like, I, but at the end of the day, here's here's where it comes into play. I'm like, I don't care. I'm like, it's like 15 minutes. It's 15 or 20 minutes. Just put it down for two seconds. No one cares. Okay, for 15 minutes, and you know, enjoy the time because that time goes by so quick, guys. That's cool. You know, quick. like you got to understand, like you don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. Tomorrow is never guaranteed. The next hour is never guaranteed. You know, we had one of our good friends pass away, yes. you know, um, yes. recently. So it's like, you just don't know what's going to happen. Don't. So you got to have that time with your significant other, kids, whatever it might be, you know, parents, whatever. But make sure that you allocate something, some sort of time frame in there, you know. For us, specifically over the years, I've tried to really just wind down around you know eight o'clock because i used to just i used to just go until like 1 a.m 2 a.m you know then i got covid that made me sick and made me force me to stop and realize what's going on and this is one of the things i came to realize <laughs> that i need to slow down so you know like it's different with us working together but if you don't work together like your significant other might have animosity towards this after a certain period of time like mm-hmm. You know why are you always doing this why can't you spend time with us and mm-hmm. then listen i know the the devil's advocate to that and mm-hmm. listen like i said i'm working you know i'm trying to you know learn, earn a living and bring money into the <laughs> household and all that so it's really a, a double-edged sword there but you got to find that balance um especially with your significant other and if your family if you have a family out there and you don't so realize it too though you don't know you, you don't. really don't because you just you know if you're just going 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 you may not realize it so take this show this episode to really pick it out of your day and realize that you're doing it yeah you know yeah because you don't it's just be aware be aware yeah it's hard it's hard looking from the outside 
in from at yourself, I guess, but, but yeah. take that look. Um, but sure. it will definitely help you guys out relationship too, especially if you tell your partner, listen, we're going to spend this, this time together. Like, you know, and like block off the time, whatever it is, you know, put the phone on, you know, do, do not disturb for a little bit or whatever it is. That's so tough. you're not looking at it, you yeah. know, cause it's, it's, it is like an addiction. Like you have the phone, you have it in your hands, Ding. we're all used to it. <laughs> you know, going back to the story where, uh, Sharice was talking about, you know, let's not using the phone at the dinner table. You know, it's funny because when we were talking about growing up, right, we didn't have cell phones like that, or we did, but it wasn't in use the way it is now. But it was, hey, listen, your friend's calling on the phone. Tell your friend not to be calling during dinner. This is yeah, dinner time. Yeah, I remember that. Right? Yep. Because it was on cell phones, so, you know. So it was on the, re- on the that's actual it. house that's phone. It. Tell him you'll call him after dinner. He'll call you after dinner, you know. It, <laughs> it is what it is. So we've come a long it's way. It's come a long way. It's come a long way. You know, technology is obviously a blessing, but, it, you know, it, it should be used in the right ways because it could be a curse, too, in this light of technology. You know, people are glued to their phones, mm-hmm. whether you're a 12-year-old or 11-year-old like our son or... You know, you're a 40 year old like me or older guy, 50, whatever it is. It just, it just, it's crazy. So at that point, listen, guys, get off the cell phones, get away from the distractions. Another one is joint distractions. And they asked me for this, what is joint distractions? What does that mean? So joint distraction is, is (laughs) you guys are sitting on a couch together and you guys are watching a movie together, which is awesome, right? It's bonding time, you'd think, or you guys are both scrolling on your cell phones or your iPads, your tablets. So I got something. So wait, you know what you do. <laughs> Go ahead. You know what you do. What? Yeah, you know what you do. Because it's great. So if you guys are watching this movie together, and let's just say like you know, if both of you guys are on your phones, I mean you can stop. But I'm saying if one of them's on the phone, you can just be like, hey, did you see that funny part? <laughs> and then he'll be like, uh, like did you need me to rewind it? It's fun. That's that's <laughs> one thing. Or you guys, I mean, you guys can be talking about what's going on in the movie really lightly. Don't mm-hmm. be that person that just talks about everything that's going on in the movie. <laughs> Unless your partner knows you and likes you for that. That can Maybe. be a little quirk. That's me, true. For me, I, I, uh, I wouldn't like that. But no, we do wouldn't. have a little conversation within the movie like, oh, my God, I can't believe this or whatever it is. <laughs> uh, and do always laugh about it or whatever. Now, that's Bonnie. You know, you yeah. guys are talking. You guys are interacting about the similar thing that you guys are watching. So that's just another thing I guess you guys can do. But listen, get back to normalcy. You know, some states are taking back restrictions. Florida is pretty much one of the open, most open states there is out there yeah. still to this day. So at that point, you guys can do some of this cool stuff that's out there. You know, even in Tampa, I mean, they have the little robo scooters or whatever. You guys can go scootering around the electronic scooters or, you know, you guys can go check out, like, Riverwalk. I mean, in Florida, there mm-hmm. is so many different places There's a lot. Um, that you can go, whether it's the different beaches or the new pier in St. Pete or whatever it is, you know I mean? It doesn't cost a lot of money or it might not cost you any money at all just to do. So at that point, that will definitely open up hopefully new doors for you guys, new experiences for you guys, which will increase the love that you guys have for each other. Well, you know, it's just funny you bring this up too because, you know, I won't say who it is, obviously, Mm. but we have a good friend of ours that's now currently going through a divorce. Um, but they were only Divorce. married, Boo. right, for a year. And I guess, like, right after, and they were together two years prior to that. So but I guess three years in. So I guess right after they got married, they stopped dating. Like, you can't stop dating each other. No. Like, it's so important. And we'll save that for another, you know, episode. But <laughs> it's important. Yeah, no, for sure. You know, because what are you saying right now? Like, going to do whatever together. Going to do dinner together. Going to do scooters together. Going to do something together. Get back those things that you guys like you're, to do you're, together. You're dating. You know, yeah. like, it's a date. Like, just set, even if it's once a week, set a date. You know, me and John have been super slammed with events lately. Like, yeah. super, super slammed. And, and work. We're, and we're all, like, you know, it, so and if we're kids. not working or around Peter, we're around, like, 500 other people. So we're not really ever around, like, just each other. And, and honestly, this week even, I was like, huh. You know, maybe it's just we should just go to dinner, just me and him, you know, and just go to dinner and just have dinner, just me and him. So and that was something I didn't, you know, obviously voice to you just yet. But, you know, maybe we should go to dinner tomorrow. That'd be great. Um, But yeah, (laughs) it's important to continue dating. It is. It's important. It's your time. It's your time. It's definitely your time. It's set that time apart because it is important. And when you have that time, make sure you guys are focused on what you guys should be focused on. Yeah, don't be on your phone. Your partner. Don't be on your phones. And and having a fun time and enjoying each other's company. If you guys are at that level, you guys need to work to get back at that level. Mm -hmm. You know, some couples, they they go on dates and they have nothing to talk about anymore. I know. like, Like, what do you, how does that happen? You know, obviously you guys had some common ground in the beginning. 
You know, and then some people, they grow apart. Now, that's because, what, they're not sharing experiences with each other, they're not communicating, mm -hmm. you know, one's mad at each other, you know, for something. You know, there's something that's that's there, um, and it's causing problems or friction between you guys, and you guys try to alleviate that problem. Mm -hmm. You know, talk about it. Communication. Last communication. one. We always talk about communication. it. Communication. So. Need um, that communication. That's where you guys should definitely, that's the alpha and the omega, the start, the, the beginning and the end. It's all about communication, mm -hmm. no matter what part of the relationship you're in, and don't become complacent, like she said. Mm -hmm. you know, that's 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 a downer for both sides, I think. Like, who wants to be stuck in a relationship where it's like, blah? Like, it's it's so easy to get caught in the routines of yeah. daily life. Like, you're like, all right, you know, we get up, we work, or like, uh, get up, get the kid ready, get him breakfast, take him to school, <laughs> come back, get ready, right? Work. Work all day. Work more. Know, come home. Feed and work the kid. More. Talk a little bit. You know, try to work out. Go then to go sleep, to sleep. Get up. Do, do it, it again. again. <laughs> like that's a routine. And listen, that's healthy to do. And that's that's really where you find the most productivity is when you get in that routine and you really, you know, you're hitting every every aspect or every timeline that you're supposed to be doing with time management. But that could be uh that could be a down on the relationship. So if you do do that and you want to get, you know, you're so structured and you're so OCD where I need these blocks of time, I need this, you better schedule in the time for your partner. Yeah. It's what it is. For sure. So at that point, you're good. You can still stay in that routine. And at that point, you guys have some time together and you guys can enjoy each other. And you guys both aren't going to be growing apart but growing together in the same aspect. Just a tip for you guys. So at the, you know, I got to throw a tip in there somewhere. If you guys are at dinner and your significant other is on their phone, all you have to say is, who are you talking to? Ooh. And then, you know, then they'll say who it is. And it doesn't have to, you know, it'll be anybody, right? And then you'll be like, and I've said it before, you know, I'm like, uh, that's that's not that important right now. And then, you know, then it, it'll force them to put their phone away. And eventually, if they respect you enough and they like to spend time with you, then whenever you guys eventually start going to dinner, you know, occasionally, they just won't do it. It just, it becomes, it becomes a thing where you just don't do it. Hmm. It is easy to do because it's like sitting there vibrating just don't do it. You got to think about it, though. You got to really think about it. I guess you do. <laughs> you do. It's like anything else. <laughs> anyway, guys, so <laughs> these are just some tips and tricks for me and Charisse. And, you know, like I said, we don't want to be hypocrites about it, but definitely set time uh, when you're not working and stuff. Just set some time for you and your partner to enjoy each other. All right, guys. We'll see you back next Sunday, 11 a.m. for Cupid's Corner and every Sunday after that. And if you guys missed the show, you guys want to check out the show, check out our YouTube Go there, subscribe, hit the all notifications, <laughs> and uh, we'll see you next week on another Cupid's Corner, 11 a.m. on ABC. See you then.